Happy New Year! Happy 2014! So exciting! <laughs> um, so, like I said, I was going to make a video about positivity, so to start the year right, to start it positive. So, here are a couple of things that I wanted to talk about and maybe uh, suggest that you take into consideration for your own, the way you live your life. And these are the things that I want to do myself so that um and actually some of them I already do but just so that I can continue to be happy and especially for this year to start it off right so um <clears throat> I don't know how you guys uh how your 2013 was if you want to come in let me know go ahead and do so for me 2013 was kind of mixed I had some really good things like getting my braces and um you know starting grad school and things of that nature uh, seeing my sister graduate um, from college and stuff like that. Um, on the other hand, I did have some other things happen that were not so great and kind of actually made my year end not so great, <laughs> which were kind of sad. But the point is that, you know, it's a new year, so I get a chance to start the year fresh and, uh, and right. So here are some things I think might be helpful to you as well. For one is, I have notes here, so if I'm looking off that's onto somewhere else, that's why. <laughs> Do things that you love which help you release stress, anger, or sadness. So if you're angry or if you're sad or if you're kind of like, uh, whatever, <laughs> definitely do things that you love to do uh, which help you release stress for example for me like i mentioned before in some of my videos i play piano and uh, i can't tell you how helpful it is for me to just play with force almost like with anger <laughs> because it helps me release all that anger out so it's really really helpful to me to do that and i i really love that i have a chance to do that because it's really helpful so for me, that one's definitely one thing that I can do to release stress. Also, dancing. I love to dance. So, dance, especially like kind of like in a team, um, like choreographed dancing. I, I really love that. So, that helps me release stress as well. So, I suggest definitely use those tools if you're a dancer, a singer, uh, you know, um, you play an instrument, or if you're... I don't know, you love to play sports, or you love to write, you love to analyze movies, you love to read. Do those things if they help you release stress. Something where you feel you can express yourself without, like, having to just talk, I guess. <laughs> Unless you like to talk and that helps you, then that's great. That's awesome. So that's definitely one thing to start the year right. Do something you love. <sighs> Two, listen to music that lifts your spirit. Um... I know a lot of people when they're sad or depressed or what have you, they, they tend to listen or tend to want to listen to depressive music. Um, and maybe that works for some of you, but for me, it does not work. If I listen to depressive music, I will be more depressed. So I like to listen to really upbeat music. I don't know about you guys, but I got the Beyonce album that came out in December. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that woman is freaking amazing. Like, I just can't get over how amazing Beyonce is. And uh, as not only is she an amazing performer, which I got to see her last year for my birthday, so it was awesome, but her music, her, her lyrics are so relatable, and for especially for girls, it's so empowering. So I uh, I love listening to her music because when I feel like crap, her music really brings me back up and it reminds me that as a woman I am strong and I am capable of doing everything that I set myself out to do. Um, so of course you don't have to listen to Beyonce, you can listen to anything else, any other band, any other genre of music, it doesn't have to be a specific type. But I think a beat inspiring music really helps. Um, Sometimes, I mean, when I'm kind of feeling angry, I like to listen to angry music <laughs> or, you know, just a song that has kind of like angry lyrics. So I, that really helps me. And I just blast it in my car and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that helps. So, but I really recommend listen to happy music, listen to upbeat music, um, because it really, it makes you feel better. Music has this amazing power of just, I don't know, like it makes you feel things just by hearing these beautiful sounds. So music is amazing and I definitely recommend listening to upbeat music. 
Another thing which I do when I've mentioned this in previous videos, I like to gather different quotes that I see on Pinterest or just randomly online or on books that I have and I like to write them down. I actually have a little board here in my room where I write different types of quotes that I really like. For instance, I have this one that says, don't let a bad day make you feel like you have a bad life. Uh, so things like that that I can look at and really make me think about okay, I have a choice of being happy and having a good day, so I'm going to do that. And these quotes remind me of that. So I think um, having those quotes, and it doesn't have to be in a board, it can be in your in a little notebook that you take to school with you. You can keep it in a little post-it note in your wallet. I mean, you can have these anywhere. And they really help remind you that life is good, and even if you go through bad things, you'll overcome them and they'll go away and you'll be fine eventually so definitely helps to stay positive it's just certain well because I don't know about you but I feel like certain people really know how to write and the way that they write makes you really think and you're like damn that's a good quote like I really that just clicked and it made me feel and maybe wake up and, and just kind of have an enlightenment moment <laughs> so quotes are really awesome I would do that as well um one other thing is go places that you haven't gone to before. This was kind of hard for me because I'm not, um, I don't know, I don't really like change too much. I, I'm very routinely about, you know, I, I just kind of do things routinely in my life. So I go to the same places, what have you. But when I was seeing this guy last year, like he took me to different um, restaurants to try different foods and things like that. And that was awesome because I was like, man, why did I... Why haven't I done this? Like some of these places are really cool and um, I mean, you know, it's, it's important to try different things and go different places and uh, to travel if you can, if you can afford it, if you have the opportunity to travel, definitely is important to do that because you get to know different places, you get to know different people, different cultures, so I absolutely recommend it. Um, if you can't do those things, at least go, you know, maybe you haven't gone two blocks down your house to the right before. Do that. You know, see what's out there. Maybe there's a an apple tree that you want to get an apple from. <laughs> I don't know, but things like that help. Um, one thing that's really, really, really important, and I can't stress this enough, surround yourself with nice and positive people. Sometimes, when if you're like me, because everyone's different but I'm a very sensitive person and people's attitudes and the way that they come off really affect me I, I kind of um, feed off of people's personalities and just the energy that they give off so for me it's really important to be around positive and supportive people so I really make it a point to surround myself around positive supportive people because you know if you're around those negative Nellies or <laughs> Debbie Downers, it, it's just not fun and it brings you down. So try to be around nice, positive people because that is, it's just a whole different feeling to be around these happy people that always support you and always encourage you to do your best and to be the best person you can be. And they um, encourage every decision that you make, you know, as long, and, and they point out when you make stupid decisions. <laughs> so those are my best friends for me like they always support me and when I'm going through horrible things or what have you they're always there for me and they always bring positivity which is so important um, having friends that listen listen to you when you have things to say that's really important because some people are really good about completely ignoring you and it's all about them <laughs> so find try to find people that are there for you that are willing to support you and be positive about your life um, another important thing is to be honest with other people, but most importantly, be honest with yourself. Be honest about who you are, who you want to be, the things that make you happy, the things that upset you, the things that, you know, I don't know, the, what type of music you like, what kind of things you like to do. It's really bad to um, be with people just for the fact that you want to be around certain people, but not do the things that you want to do if that makes sense. <laughs> but, I mean, this year, especially at the end of 2013, I realized so much more the person that I am. Like, I, for as much as it might not seem like it, I'm actually pretty shy when it comes to 
big groups of people in person. I'm really, really shy and I'm really quiet when it comes to those things. And um, I, I like spending my time alone. I really like having my alone time. And um, I would prefer staying home, watching Netflix, having a glass of wine than to go out and party. So I had to be honest to myself about that. Like if people constantly want to go out, I, I have to be honest and be like, look, that's not what I want to do. I want to stay home and have fun at home. So being honest with yourself and the things that you like, the things that you want to do and who you are is very important in helping you stay positive and be true to yourself and true to who you want to be. And um, definitely I would say this kind of goes along with the surrounding yourself with positive people but try to avoid drama unless you're one of those people that drama just gives you energy, I don't know, but I'm certainly not that kind of person. I hate being around drama and for that reason I actually don't have a Facebook account. I don't watch TV that much. I really don't watch TV. Like I if I think 2013 I probably watched like maybe 2 weeks worth of TV the whole year. I mean, I really don't watch that much TV. I don't watch reality shows. I don't read magazines. I try not to go online to read the gossip areas because um, you know you'll probably have noticed and if you haven't do notice that those tend to be really negative especially for women it's all about putting you down putting down the way you look and that you should feel horrible about yourself because you don't look a certain way and it's just too much and like I said I'm a sensitive person so for me it really affected me in the past to uh you know, watch those things because it made me feel like I'm not good enough and that, uh, you know, it, it just seems like a lot of those reality shows especially, people are so catty with each other and it's all about fighting and I'm right because I'm right. It's just really silly so I prefer to avoid it. Um, and those people out there that it doesn't affect them in the same way it affects me and to them it's just funny, that's totally fine. If, if, if it amuses you, awesome. But for People like me, it affects me, so I'd rather just stay away from it completely. So that might be a suggestion you might want to think about to stay positive throughout the year. Uh, another fun thing, or good thing, is to educate yourself. You know, buy some books and try to read. Um, this day and age, we really don't make time to educate ourselves and to read enough. And um, one of my goals this year is to read more. So I got like five books um, that I really want to read, so I'm going to try to do that. And they're all kind of like sciencey books, so I really want to educate myself more. And that way, um, you know, because I don't want to be one of those people that gives my opinion somewhere without knowing what I'm saying. Like, I really respect people that when they give their opinion, they actually know what they're talking about. They've done their research, they've read, they've studied something. So I want to be one of those people. So I'm going to educate myself, and to me that makes me happier. And, you know, it's just being a truth teller. You can't really be a truth teller if you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Educate yourself. And uh, finally, just have fun. Honestly, life is short. The older you get, the faster time goes by. So the more time you spend being miserable and hating yourself and hating life, you're going to get to a point where you're going to be like, man, I was in my whole life being sad and depressed and hating everything. And now I don't have enough time to enjoy the things I could have enjoyed when I was younger. I don't want to be that person and I'm sure you don't either. So definitely try to remember that and think about that. You know, at some point we're all going to be gone. So it's better to enjoy the life we have right now and enjoy the body that we're in and the things we have and the things around us and just enjoy it all. Take it all in and just enjoy it. And I know sometimes that can be hard. It's not as easy as it is as it as I make it sound. But um, honestly, I've said this before. Everything's a choice, and uh, like I said, you'll have bad times in your life, sad times. But at some point, you have to get back up, and you have to realize that life is what you make it. And so, if you're gonna make it miserable, you will be miserable. So get up, have fun. Follow those little things I just gave you. I hope that is helpful to some of you, hopefully. And, uh, you know, take this positive journey with me. <laughs> I think it will be awesome to start the this year um, with a positive outlook on life. 
and uh, yeah I guess that's really all I have to say I just wanted to make this video give some positivity to you and make you feel good about living this life so yay there it goes I don't want to make it longer so hope you guys enjoyed this and I hopefully will be talking to you pretty soon especially to update update you on my teeth because I will have an appointment pretty soon so yay happy thoughts happy times <laughs> talk to you later bye